Welcome to Monday and welcome to the start of another week. I just left my physical therapy appointment. That is right, physical therapy on a Monday. Shaking it up a little bit. My Hello. lovely chauffeur over here it has some prior engagements tomorrow, so we move my appointment to Monday. And if I look a little bit more haggard than usual, that would be because I finally got to do some exercises and I'm so pumped about it because I have not gotten to do like anything in probably like, I wanna say four months. Uh, it was always just like immobilize this. Okay, immobilize that. And now it's someone finally let me move. It felt so good. It was really hard, but really great. It's so important, it's so important to get moving. Like when it is safe for you to get moving after a surgery, just do it. If you are working with the right therapist and you're not putting yourself in danger, you might be really surprised to see how much of a difference a little bit of movement every day will make in your recovery. And I know in my vlog last week, I think that I was a little bit more down than usual. I was frustrated, I was, antsy and i just wasn't really feeling very satisfied but you know trish said to me today if you hadn't listened to my advice and you didn't spend the weekend resting and doing your isometric exercises your body would not have been able to do any of these higher level exercises today and duh like she's so right obviously but for me it was just like oh i gotta stay in bed and i gotta do my isometrics and i'm not getting anywhere with my rehab and the summer is halfway over so it was definitely an encouragement to me to see okay if i really do carve out that time and i really do rest then that will open up doors for me later on if i had disregarded her instructions and if I had gone out all weekend and pushed myself then I probably would have set myself back so I don't know I guess it's just a reminder to me and a reminder to you guys resting and movement are both very important parts of your recovery and if you want it to be as successful as possible you can't really do one without the other hello you guys happy Tuesday today is I think the only day this week that I don't have anything planned or any appointments. So this day is kind of my rest day, but it's also kind of my like get everything done day, which really kind of seems to contradict itself, but I'm doing my best here. My entire room and life is just like a total disaster right now from all of the packing, unpacking, packing, unpacking projects supplies everything so we put a table here in the middle of my room right now I'm finishing packing up some orders once those are out of my room I can start working on all of this other organizational chaos I have this box of stuff over here to do a haul video and I want to try to get that filmed I don't think I'm gonna get that filmed today but I need to film it soon so that I can put that stuff away. But I am trying to be mindful of my resting, so I have been taking rest. I've got my feeds going, I got my saline going, I got my audiobook going. So every 15, 20 minutes or something, I'll sit down for a little while and work on some crocheting. Because you guys really, really liked the sunflower quilt that I made for my aunt. And I've had a lot of requests for commissions, and so I don't really know what I'm going to do about that. I think maybe I might put like some kind of pre-order on my Etsy or maybe I'll just make a quilt and put that on Etsy. I don't know, but all I know is I'm working on sunflowers right now. Oh my goodness, I am so exhausted from yesterday. Like my whole body, like Trish kicked my butt, like literally. So <laughs> I have a lot of restrictions when it comes to PT because of all the surgeries so I have upper body restrictions as you guys know so I'm still pretty non weight bearing for my upper body so my neck upper back and then I have lower body restrictions because of the knee and the leg surgery and now I have restrictions from the shunt so I can't use my abdominal muscles and I can't use my lower back so that basically leaves my butt and that's what we've been working on. We've been doing a lot of butt exercises, a lot of modified squats and clenches. <laughs> so strange, but all I can say is 
feeling kind of sore today, but <laughs> I need to build up the muscle there anyway, so good place to start. Maybe my jeans will actually stay on now. Today is the day I am getting these horrid staples taken out of my back and out of my belly. I cannot wait. <laughs> they are so uncomfortable. I keep like rolling over and I'm like, oh, what did I just roll onto? And I'm like, mm, never mind. It's just staples stabbing into my spine. Plus, every single move that I make like pulls at them. <sighs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to vlog getting them out, but. I should be able to take a before and after shot if you guys are interested. I don't know. Some people have said that they don't like to see that kind of stuff and the other half of you really wants to see that kind of stuff. So I guess maybe if I get anything rather gory on film, I'll give you a little bit of a warning. But really, they've healed up so nicely. Nothing too scary. Okay, scar warning. <laughs> yeah, so that's healed pretty well. There's still a little bit of swelling and I don't know if you can see that like this is where the shunt and all the tubing and valves sits under it. So there's kind of like a little pouch here. So that's what that looks like with the staple still in it. I think I'm gonna have to get my mom to get my back. <laughs> <sighs> okay. <laughs> Hello you guys. I just got back from the doctors. I got my staples taken out. So as you guys know, I had that issue like finding a new primary care doctor and then I finally found this one and she's amazing. And it's just like so nice to feel like someone believes you and is like on your team. Growing up, like I was so afraid to go to my primary care doctor because she didn't believe me she thought i had anxiety like anything i went in there for she just like blamed on this anxiety that i didn't have so that just left me with a lot of like emotional baggage but this new lady is just she's so fantastic she just wants to learn and wants to talk and she actually has other eds patients and you could just tell like as we were talking the wheels were turning and she was thinking of her other patients so i'm so glad that we just kept looking and we didn't go with that first prospect but anyway yeah my staples are out i have not looked at it yet so that's what it looks like she also took the ones out of my back but yeah there were like a lot of staples in me i think there was like 23 or something like that i don't know i took a picture and i can insert it here there's no blood or anything but anyway i came home to this package that i'm really excited about i'm gonna tell you guys about it but i'm not gonna tell you guys about it yet because it's going to be one of my tested products if you didn't know i've started this new series on this channel of testing like cool weird unique like spoony products and let me tell you, I am just getting started because I have like at least four really cool, really exciting things like in my possession already to try out for videos. And I think it's gonna be really awesome. And there are just so many different things out there now claiming to help people with chronic illness, people with chronic pain. And some of them work really well, and some of them are kind of a giant scam. So I figure, hey, you know, this way, either I end up with a really cool product that helps me out in my day-to-day -day life, or I save a bunch of people that I really care about from getting, like, epically ripped off. So that is my reasoning behind this series, and it's also just totally fun. I'm such, like, a nerd for, like, medical equipment. I think I really need to go inside because I think it's, like, ugh about to start pouring down. I accidentally woke up like super early, so I think I might actually just go take a nap. I swear, ever since I got this shunt put in, like I'm waking up super early and I don't know how I feel about that, but <laughs> I have no idea what that was. Anyway, yeah, no, I'm tired. I'm gonna go sleep. I will talk to you guys later. I hope no one just got shot. The strep quarantine continues. Nobody's safe. Hello you guys, it is Thursday and we are once again on our way into the city for another doctor's appointment. This is actually a pretty important doctor's appointment and we've been waiting quite a while for it. I'm gonna be seeing an endocrinologist about some of my 
adrenal issues since as you guys know I've been having some problems regulating my cortisol and just some adrenal issues. Up to this point those have been handled by other doctors mostly because of just necessity. We were at home, I was in the hospital, stuff like that. So I've never had a good endocrinologist that's really followed me. I saw one in the past and they did a test. Basically there is something that your body produces called ACTH and that stimulates production of a hormone called cortisol in your body which is kind of like your adrenaline. It's very important especially when your body is being stressed or you're healing. So my last endocrinologist he ran a test where basically they inject you with the ACTH to see if you can make the cortisol which I did and so he was like okay cool you're fine and then so they took me off of the supplemental cortisol that I had been on for a while and I got a lot worse then I went down for a surgery my surgeon checked my cortisol levels and they were really 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 low so he put me back on it and basically it's been a back and forth battle since that doctor said well your body can make cortisol then you know my surgeon explained to me well maybe you can make cortisol but these tests are clearly showing that you're not making cortisol and we suspect that that is all part of a bigger issue that is starting in the brain which makes sense correlates with some of my problems this is something a lot of eds people have the question is is this endocrinologist gonna be on board with all of this i have no idea and i'm a little bit nervous about that because I feel a lot better when I'm on it and it especially makes me nervous after that little episode we had a couple months ago where I don't really know what would have happened if I didn't have the cortisol and if I hadn't taken it. Okay guys, holy moly, we just got out of that appointment. It was like almost two hours long, like maybe an hour 45 minutes and oh my gosh, she was so great. She didn't know EDS like some of my doctors know EDS, she's not a specialist, but she was willing to listen to everything that we had to say and really just take everything into consideration and then come up with a plan. And she made sure that we really understood what we were talking about, what the risk factors are, how to look for that, and what happens in an emergency. And so really she hit all of the things that we needed. She's changing my dosage around a little bit and she's also prescribing a medication, Solucortef, which is a stress dose that you kind of just inject if you are in an emergency situation. And she even prescribed or signed me up to attend a class that teaches you all about recognizing these adrenal crises, how to treat in those, how to use the injection, stuff like that. Okay, the sun is cramping my style. I had no idea that these resources were available to me. And honestly, I mean, it bothers me that I've been on these medications for like five or six years and nobody has ever thought to tell me what to do in an emergency. Never mind suggested that I take a class on it. I just wonder how many other patients are being let down in that way and ultimately that's kind of dangerous. She made it clear, you know, she's not trying to scare us, but this kind of thing can kill you if you don't know what you're doing. And that little like crisis or episode or whatever you want to call it that I had a couple months ago was a big deal and if we hadn't treated it like we did, could have pretty much just killed me. So that's a little bit worrying, but I'm worried about all of the other patients who aren't being told these things, who maybe don't have as much medical knowledge or don't have immediate access to medications or someone to help them. If you guys are dealing with any kind of adrenal issues, I recommend that you ask your doctor about what to do in an emergency and how to even recognize that you're in an emergency. 
It's pretty serious stuff. Okay, searching for pretty serious I didn't say asphalt. Siri. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that was just like quite the appointment. I feel like I'm still going over so many things in my head. I'm just so glad that she was willing to be so thorough and really just take that time to draw everything out and write everything out. Not every doctor does that. Usually I feel like I'm well prepared for an appointment and I usually know pretty much what I'm going to come out with. Yeah, no, I learned a lot about your adrenal glands and your hormones today. And it's interesting. So this problem with me seems to be that because of all of the um, high pressure and damage and surgeries and Chiari and everything that has taken place in my brain it has affected my brain in the way that it does not stimulate my body to make the hormone that stimulates your body to make cortisol. But the thing is, is that that is just a theory because it's not quite that simple when it comes to steroids. Some of you might know this and some of you might not, but when you take supplemental steroids, your body stops making them itself. So your body is supposed to make these things, but when you start taking things like Florinef or hydrocortisone or prednisone, your body stops making that. So if you were to take somebody off of their steroid dose and then test them, they are going to be deficient. And it takes it a year for it to go back to normal. And so we had to pour over my history of like when I had like a five day course after pneumonia or when I had surgery, any of my blood work on file within the year of me taking that medication wouldn't be a proper assessment of how my body was naturally producing things. So at this point we are just going along with the assumption that my body isn't making it. That seems to be what my symptoms have showed my whole life. That is what my neurosurgeon told me when he first started me on them years and years and years and years ago. And at this point, it kind of doesn't matter because either way, my body's not making it. And trying to take me off of it for like a year isn't a super great plan. But what I really wish is that we had that original copy of my blood work from the very first time it was checked before I started the medications. We are gonna call the hospital in Maryland and try to go after those records. I'm not super hopeful that we're gonna get anything out of that and the doctor and I both agree that it doesn't really change what we're doing right now. But it would be really interesting to know if I have primary Addison's disease or if this is somehow secondary to my Ehlers-Danlos or just secondary to the use of steroids. I don't know. We don't know the cause and she said we might never know. For me, it might not really matter. But I really encourage you guys, if your doctor prescribes steroids for you or if you are just starting your journey with adrenal insufficiency and testing like that, I would make sure that you have a hard copy in your possession of all of your blood work before you start on these medications. It's gonna make your life in the future a whole lot easier to have that on paper or on a drive or whatever you kids do these days. We still keep paper copies of all my records, but I have everything backed up in my Backpack Health app which I know I haven't talked about in a while, but like seriously, that thing is so helpful. <laughs> anyway, pro tip from somebody who didn't know what they were doing in the beginning, get a copy of your pre and post steroid blood work. You are welcome. Good morning. It is Friday. It is like 7 a.m. As you can probably tell by the oxygen tubing marks on my face, I have just woken up. And I have just woken up to the beautiful surprise of an entire night's feeds all over me in a giant puddle. Yay. So now not only <laughs> am I covered in feeds, but I'm starving. My blood pressure and blood sugar are low. I have to go take a shower and get all this off of me. It's pretty disgusting. So 
I just had to deaccess my port. Luckily, it was the final day anyway. That was a rude awakening. And then I somehow have to take care of my clothes and my sheets. Good morning. Hey guys, well, we're on our way to physical therapy now. I'm still feeling the loss of calories and sleep. My sister's feeling a lot better. A lot of you guys have been asking. You wanna wave? Feeling better? No strep throat? Um, yeah, I'm feeling better in that aspect, but I feel horrible today. <laughs> yeah, it's just one of those days in our household. At least we're going to the one place where we know that we'll leave feeling better than we showed up. <laughs> um, I'm reading a card right now that Bonnie sent me. You know you have a best friend when you're literally texting someone constantly and they still send you a letter just because they found a card that they thought was cute. <laughs> I'm so excited to see her and all of you guys at the conference. Like, I can't believe how fast it's coming up. Who's going? Like, I'm so excited. And then, even after that, I think Bonnie might come and stay with us for a while, so. Woo! Tell put it in the comments if they're coming. Yeah. No. Let yeah, me know. Well, can see this before. Do you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, they'll see this before the conference. I, I wish think... Lauren was coming, but she's yeah. a fan of long yeah. drives. Unf unfortunately, my sister is not coming to the conference, for those of you who have asked. She's not really the long car ride type of person. Especially when I am a fellow passenger, we have a long history of me not feeling well in the car. And <laughs> that didn't make for a lot of fun family road trips, let's just say that. Maybe someday they'll hold it around here and it won't be a long ride. I'm not even going to pretend like I'm not a hot mess right now. As you guys know, I had that little rude awakening this morning with the feeding tube issues and you know what I don't think it was a feeding tube issue I think it was like a sleeping Christina issue because here's the deal if the feeding tube decided that it was going to detach itself from me then all of my stomach contents would have emptied too because there's a clamp on my feeding tube and when I woke up, that clamp was clamped. Clearly, I disconnected the pump in the middle of the night, somehow had the wherewithal to clamp the clamp, but not stop the pump, which definitely sounds like something that sleeping Christina would do. She's been relatively unactive and well-behaved ever since we started the oxygen, which by the way, is still going really, really fantastically, but apparently, She's back for her vengeance. And I can kind of understand why, because listen, ever since I had this chum placed, there's been swelling in my abdomen because they could into it three times. I get it. So my stomach has therefore had a little bit less room than it's used to. Not to mention there's like all these random things shoved in there. And they pretty much had me like off of feeds in the hospital, so my stomach shrunk. And all of those wonderful circumstances have come together to make it difficult for me to tolerate the volume of feeds that I was tolerating before. So I've been having a lot of bloating and stomach pain and nausea. And I've been having to go back and forth on the rates that I've been using just to keep myself comfortable. So, I mean, I get how maybe in the middle of the night I probably felt sick and tried to turn it off. So that's how I started my day. And then, of course, I had to take a shower, which for me is usually like an entire day's activity. It's a bit of a workout for my body and not something that I usually do to start a day. Then was the drive to physical therapy. So by the time that we had gotten there and that my sister had had her appointment, my brain was pretty much just checked out. It was so bad that when we went to the gym and I was trying to do my exercises, I just had no concept of where I was and what my body was doing. And I usually have very little concept, but today, I mean, it was so bad that like Trish and my mom were like hysterically laughing, just like watching me walk back and forth across the room. 
I mean, I could barely stop laughing long enough to walk because I just felt like a complete, like, drunken sailor, like, just leaning sideways. It was not my best day. Oh, and then, if this day wasn't already, like, disaster enough, we got into the car. We had all of my medications already crushed in a container, ready to just add water and put through the tube. And my mom accidentally opened the container upside down. It happens. It hasn't before, but it happened today. And so the medication just went everywhere. I then had to wait the like two or whatever hours of rush hour traffic to get home and get to my medications. So as you can imagine, when we got home, my body was done. I don't even remember getting to my bed, but I hit that nap hard and now it's like 12 30 and i'm just waking up and i have stuff i gotta do i have stuff i have to film it's like i told you i'm doing some product testing that's kind of long term i really want to tell you guys about these things but then i also kind of want it to be a surprise but that brings me to i do have a product that i did want to talk about it's kind of a product it's kind of a service it's a website here let me just show you so about a month ago, I got an email from a site called Firmu. I'm going to guess I'm saying that right. It's F-I-R-M-O-O. -O. And they are an online optical site, so they sell glasses. And they sent me a message along the lines of, Hey, we've seen your channel. We saw that you've recently started wearing glasses. Would you be interested in trying out a pair of our glasses? and then sharing them. They said they had worked with YouTubers in the past, that their prices were better than most places, and they had some pretty cool features on their site that made your shopping experience easy. And so I was like, okay, this sounds really awesome, but is this something that I want to share? Like, is this on brand? So you guys know that I don't like to talk about or work with products that I don't personally like and use. For instance, I get emails sometimes from companies who want me to talk about their stuff on my channel and I have to turn them down because it's really just not on brand for me. Like the other day I got an email from a site saying, hey we love your channel and we would love to send you a box of our products if you would do a review. And it was a meal prepping service. Have you seen my channel? <laughs> like, my family can barely meal prep in this house without making me sick. So, clearly there's not going to be a meal prepping video on this channel anytime soon. But with these glasses, I figured, okay, let me check out their site. Let me see what their features really are. Let me see if this is legit and something that I think would, would be helpful to the people who watch these videos and so i went on their site and i kind of fell in love with it number one their prices are extremely good they're so good that i was nervous this wasn't really a legit thing you know i did some looking around and looking at reviews and <laughs> turns out they're legit and so immediately i was like okay cool like i would love to be able to offer these prices to you guys especially with the promo code that they were offering to send and then i discovered the best feature ever and that is that you can virtually try on their glasses so like i was in bed i took some clips for you guys which i'm gonna put in here how cool is this I've just been scrolling through their website, looking at the different frames. And then say you find a pair you like. These ones are kind of cool. They come in two different colors. So let's click on these. Yeah, those are cute. Let's see how they look on me. Huh. Those look pretty cute. I wonder what the other color looks like. Let's try those on. Those are cute too. I like those. So as you can see, all I had to do was upload a picture of myself from straight on. Now I can just easily try on any glasses that I like without having to actually go and, ooh, these come in pink. 
Let's look at that. Oh, no, I don't think the pink suits me. All of this without even leaving my bed. And that's not all they have. They also have sunglasses. So let's look, you can get prescription or non-prescription. I'm gonna look at what they have for prescription sunglasses. These are cool. I tend to like, oh, this is the style I tend to like. That's neat, they have it in three different colors. Ooh, that's cool, let's try those ones on. And I don't think those suit me very well. But say I wanted to see the glasses a little bit more styled. All I have to do is scroll down and almost all of them have reviews with pictures. First of all, nice zebra, but you can see that this girl got the blue and they look good, but they look a little bit big for my head, so I'm glad I could see that. And they walk you through exactly how to measure the difference from your pupils and which size will best fit your face. They also have different lenses you can choose later on in the checkout process. Just in case you're looking for something like a polarized pair of sunglasses, prescription sunglasses, glare reducing glasses. This site is kind of amazing and you really can't beat the prices on of these. I just can't wait until my pair arrives and I can try them on in person. This is about like 10 days ago. I was having one of those days where I was not getting out of bed. And I know that you guys have those days too. And because of that, oftentimes things just get pushed to the wayside and forgotten about. And so doing stuff like going out and trying on different eyeglasses is a lot of times just out of the picture. I wasn't even using my computer. I was doing this lying down using my phone. And I tell you, it was really helpful being able to try them on because there was so many that I looked at and was like, oh, those are cute, those would totally suit me. And then I tried them on and they were just not the right size, not the right shape, not the right color for my face. It was just a really cool experience. And I eventually found a pair that I thought I really liked. And so I went to like go through the checkout process and I was expecting it to take forever. It was so simple. All you need to have is your prescription. And you also need to enter your pupillary distance which is literally just the distance between your pupils. But their site even tells you how to do that yourself so you don't have to have the eye doctor do it. So all you need is your prescription, which I had. And, and I thought that was gonna be a little bit difficult to fill out because I don't quite understand all of the numbers and all of that stuff. And then I realized they actually have a feature where you literally just take a picture of the prescription and send that to them and you don't have to worry about entering any of those numbers which is fantastic because if you need glasses sometimes it's not easy to read things but anyway i ordered my frames i picked out my lenses sent out my order and today they arrived it only took 10 days to arrive I expected these to take months, to be perfectly honest, and I stinking love them. Let me show you. Okay, so these are the glasses that I chose. There's gonna be a lot of glare. I can't really help that. It's because of like the camera viewfinder thing. So this isn't my most fashionable moment, but I'm telling you, these glasses are kind of adorable. As you guys know, I wear two different glasses prescriptions. I have one for reading and I have one for when I go out in public and these I chose to get in the when I go out in public and they are so cute. They're gold. That's why I really wanted them. I wear a lot of silver and sometimes I want to switch it up and I don't have a lot of gold accessories so I decided to go for the gold ones super impressed at the lens quality my vision is really really clear with these things i think that they might actually fit my face better than any pair of glasses i've ever had because i don't know if you can tell but they have like a bend in them that make them a little bit smaller and they are just like the perfect shape for my face these are the glasses that I already had for this prescription. Uh, these frames are by Coach, I know, so very high end. To be fair, I've been swapping out the prescription in these for a few years, so they've lasted me. 
but I'm pretty sure at the time I paid around $200 for just the frames. These, I believe, were $28, but I mean, that's a huge difference. At that rate, I could like have a handful of different frames to match every single outfit. And the quality on these seems pretty darn good. They're the tiniest bit flimsy, but I think that has more to do with style, honestly. They're just very simplistic, like wire rim style. Little nose pieces sound a little loose, if you can hear that. But it actually came with a little tool that tightens them up and an extra pair of them in case something goes wrong. So that's pretty cool. They feel super great on my face. In fact, they're so light that I barely feel like I'm wearing them. I don't have anything bad to say about these. And I'm super excited and I think I'm probably going to end up ordering like another pair. So maybe, I don't know, at least go check out the site and see if you find anything you like. I did notice in the reviews that I was reading that people were saying that some of them were a little bit flimsy and the quality wasn't as great. So they recommended if you were looking for just like the kind of wire rimmed style that I have and that's like really trendy right now that you look under material which is listed right below the glasses and that you make sure that it says metal. I guess maybe some of them are not fully metal. I'm not quite sure. But all I know is these feel pretty sturdy. I don't feel like the arms or whatever are gonna fall off or anything like that. I really love these glasses. They get my seal of approval. I feel good about sharing them with you guys, especially since I have a promo code. I know how important good vision is. I also know that trying to find the time to make an appointment for anything can be difficult. I put off getting glasses for years because it was just never a priority. So this is the code. I will be linking everything down below for you guys as well. I'll also link for you guys which style I chose underneath just in case you want to be twins. I figure if I can offer you guys 50% off of something that could potentially help you out, then it's totally worth it. And just to make it clear, this pair of glasses was given to me free to give my opinion on them. However, I was not told what to say. I could have just as easily given them a negative review. If I didn't like them, I would have. And you guys buying glasses or using my promo code doesn't affect me whatsoever. I do not make any money. They do have an affiliates program who do get paid a certain commission when people use their promo code, but I personally opted out of that option because I never really want to make money off of you guys buying things. And I want you to be able to trust my honest opinion on things. So I hope you guys don't mind me talking about products. I'm never trying to like brag about, oh hey look at the free stuff I got. To me it's really all about is this a good product and can I use my little bit of influence to help someone else. Also, I paid for this with my own money, but tell me this is not the cutest stinking eyeglass cleaner you've ever seen in your whole life. Hello you guys, it is a Saturday. I just got finished finally filming my like stressed shopping haul. This is what the aftermath of that looks like. There's just stuff everywhere. And yes, I am wearing pajama pants because I filmed from the waist up. Whew, I am already tired. Now I'm going to put all this stuff away. And I have a couple more clips to film for another video. Then later on tonight, my cousins are getting here. They're flying in from California. And so not only will they be getting here late, but they're going to be like three hours behind in their time schedule. So I don't know when we're going to sleep. <laughs> then tomorrow we're going into the city with them to go see a show. So things are kind of crazy right now. I'm already exhausted just thinking about it. And I woke up at 8 o'clock again this morning. I keep waking up like right at 8 o'clock on the dot and then I can't get back to sleep. It's so weird. Hold on. I got to put this camera on some kind of tripod because I'm so tired. My hand is shaking. Hi. Um... This is kind of cool. I should always vlog with the tripod, hands free. Um, so like I was saying, okay, it's so strange. Ever since I got back from the shunt, I just like 
became a morning person and I've never ever been a morning person I actually thought that like people who were morning people were just lying because how could you like the morning or like purposely wake up early but now all of a sudden I wake up at like 8 o'clock in the morning and I'm like all right well I guess I'm gonna start functioning why go back to sleep is that gonna like be a thing I don't know if I want to be that person I always hated that person. Shoot, I'm just realizing that I have to like edit this vlog somehow in the next two days to get it up on Monday. But I don't want to be like anti-social when my cousins are here. I'll figure it out. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow morning before everybody wakes up because now I'm a morning person. That's apparently how morning people talk. All right, I'm going loopy. There's just too many things on my brain. I'm also thinking about packing for the conference next weekend. I'm so excited. And if you're not coming to the conference, don't get too upset. I totally understand. All of the presentations will eventually go up online so you can watch those and not miss out on that. And hopefully through my vlogs, you can get a bit of a feel for the social aspect as well. But I'm excited and I want to meet you guys. I love to put faces behind this camera. It's so weird talking to a camera, but like every time I meet one of you guys, it's just another face that I'm talking to. And that totally makes it worth it. You guys, I'm so excited. My cousins are here from California. They're staying for a little over a week, but we're gonna be leaving for the conference before they leave. So we're having some quality time tonight and tomorrow we are gonna go see Aladdin. I am so excited. And take note you guys because this is the cleanest you will probably ever see this bedroom I don't think it's ever been this clean and I'd like to say that it will stay this way we'll see but I'm gonna go hang out with my cousins try to get to bed early so I can have some energy for tomorrow oh I think I'm gonna go throw on my new t-shirt okay check this out my friend Daniel's doing a fundraiser to raise money for his neurosurgery that he's been raising money for over the past few years and so he's selling t-shirts and I got one of them and look at how great this is. He's from Texas so he had this designed and I think it's hilarious. It's a little bit big on me and I saw that he just got like women's tank tops so I might send this to my friend Matthew and then get myself another tank top. I just thought this was like really funny and unique. I've seen a lot of zebra t-shirts and I've definitely never seen anything like this one. Yeah, I'm thinking this style is maybe like a little bit boxy on me. I'm just gonna wear it to bed. I'll probably give this to my friend. I think he's really gonna like this and get myself like a tank top. I'm gonna link this design down below for you guys. It's a good cause. Daniel and I have been friends. We've been talking for like years now. So, you know, I really want to see him feel better. And I think because so many of us are female that like there's very few things kind of marketed towards the male audience, but this is definitely like a guy kind of shirt. Okay guys, well, happy Sunday. You know what that means? The week is up. So I'm ending this vlog here. If you want to see why I'm all dressed up, then you're going to have to tune in for next week's vlog. As always, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos, you can subscribe and hit that bell button. And if you want, you can check out the link in the description. I was nominated for a Wego Patient Advocate Award and I'm really excited about it. So if you would like to endorse me, you can do that. It's totally free. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.